Greetings YouTube. Today I thought I'd do a video about the use of common sports equipment as uh, impact weapons. And these are things that, that I find available here in the US. For example, there is no cricket bat in this collection. I really want a cricket bat. Cricket bats, however, are inordinately expensive in the US and I have not stumbled upon a used one. I keep hoping I will. Um, also, there's what's no, another thing that's not here is I've seen practice bats. They are aluminum and they're about the same diameter as this shaft right here. Some of them are solid, some are not, and they're designed for hitting small wiffle ball like hollow spheres about this big for improving your accuracy, I guess. And I think they would make an excellent um, impact weapon. I picked one up recently at a uh, hard, at a department store and I swung it and my wife laughed and I'm like, why are you laughing at me? She said, because you, with the way you swing that, it's not a sports piece of sporting equipment. No, I was not swinging it as a piece of sporting equipment. I was swinging it as a uh, impact weapon. So we have here is the classic wooden baseball bat. I picked that one up at a yard sale for two bucks. Here we have an aluminum baseball bat, also probably usable in softball. I have no idea if there's a difference. I, I honestly can't tell you. Um, I also picked that up at a yard sale for a dollar or two dollars. Um, here we have a Spalding. Get right in there, Spalding, um, which is a stickball bat. And what's interesting about this is it's really nice hardwood, quality hardwood. Um, it's got a nice length and balance. It comes already pre-wrapped with the handle. And if you hold it in this area right here, it really has the balance and feel of a decent quality Boken equivalent roughly to a katana. So I'm thinking this would, this would make me an interesting for form, if not necessarily high impact sparring. And because it is, even though it's hardwood, it's a f very fast device because it's so thin and, and relatively light. Um, it would be very quick recovery on that one. Next we have a nine iron, and this is a junior nine iron. It's actually the nine iron design for children uh, or adolescents. Um, I picked it up at a thrift store for a dollar and I bought it specifically for this video because I did not own a golf club because I've never played go real golf in my entire life and the last time I held a golf club it was to play miniature golf. Um, but again, uh, solid metal shaft, nice grip, solid metal head and overall it can also function as a walking stick if you wanted to, as a, as a cane. It's almost the perfect height for me. Um, and then we have a field hockey stick and this one has bright, shiny, sparkly tape on it, which is uh, how it came. And again, I picked it up at a, uh, a yard sale for a couple of bucks. Um, nice wrapped handle, um, fairly flat cross section. It's a fairly fast weapon. Um, it's got a fair amount of density and weight because of this you know, additional hook down here. And it just, it makes, um, I think, a, a very quick weapon that could be used either uh, one-handed if you're relatively strong or two-handed. Um, so this is a selection of common sporting um, items that you could find in pretty much any home in America. You are going to find a golf club or a baseball bat or even a field hockey stick. These are not hard to find items and all of them will function as impact weapons.